Hey guys, Stacy and Pepper King here, standing next to one of the beautiful new Trikaner horses. I am very excited about today because I have something a little bit different in store. There are a few horses that I really, really want to buy in Star Stable, so I thought it might be fun to buy them all at once. I'm not going to get the Trikaner today, although I do want to check them out because they're super pretty. Um, but that is not one that's been on my wish list, so my goal is to kind of get some that have been there for a little while and get those checked off. I've been working on an Excel document with all of my horses and their breed and their level and all that information, and I realized there's quite a few missing that I did not get along the way. So before I get another new horse, I'd like to go back and get some of the ones I wanted previously. But that doesn't mean we can't read about this guy today. The Trikaner, or East Prussian warm blood horse of Trikaner origin, as it is correctly called, is the lightest of the modern European warm bloods. Originally, the term Trikaner was reserved for horses bred at the stud farm in Trikanin, now Yasnaya Polyana in Russia. Yasnaya Polyana. Polyana? Hmm. Where over two centuries, the breed refined and gained renown, first for use by the military and later in competition. There's a lot of details here. Oh my gosh. In the final months of World War II, the devastation of war nearly wiped out the Chikaner bloodline. That's really sad. Those committed to saving the majestic breed led the remaining horses on a grueling exodus across the frozen wastelands of Eastern Europe, a feat of endurance that would give the Trikaner a legendary reputation, but nearly wiped out the remaining stock. After decades of careful breeding, the Trikaner was brought back from the brink of extinction. That discipline continues to this day as to be allowed into the official stud books. Young horses undergo an extensive evaluation process to assess their qualities as riding horses. Due to their- oh, he did, a little, he did a little ear movement. It caught me off guard. <laughs> Due to their high percentage of thoroughbred genes, the Trikaner is an elegant horse and is frequently used to refine other warm blood breeds. Modern Trikaners are extremely successful in all areas of equestrian sports, especially eventing, where their versatility in both jumping and dressage makes them shine. Riders looking for a majestic partner in the riding hall or a friend to conquer the toughest terrain look no further than the Trikaner. I love all the details that were in there. I've learned so much about this horse now. That's awesome. I really, really like this one. He's super pretty, and I definitely would like to get one along the way. Maybe we'll wait till there's more colors out or something in the future. There's still so many I haven't purchased yet. Ugh. Okay, the other Trikaners are at the Silver Glade Equestrian Center. So you can see the gray one here. Oh, one ear moved. That's fun. Do they all do that? I don't think so. Huh. Oh, look at this Trikaner. He's got a little off-center pink spot on his nose, and one of his legs is white. He's really unique. That's fun. This is one of the other Lusitanos. I was very tempted to get this one today because I think the Lusitanos are beautiful, but not today. So here we are in New Hillcrest, the location where I will be buying three new horses today. I'm very excited. There's definitely more than three that I want and definitely more than three here in New Hillcrest, but I've narrowed it down to three for today. One of the horses I wanted to get is actually at the horse market. So I have to wait until I can get that one. So I'm gonna get three here instead. Now, I am a big fan of many of these. The first two are big on my list. This Icelandic, which I don't have an Icelandic on Cadence yet. This one reminds me of Rockbeam. Here we have a Lippets Honor. Cadence also does not have a Lippets Honor, and this is the one that I really, really want. Plus a whole huge assortment of more Icelandics. I don't know how you can pick. They're all so adorable. I'm very tempted with this one as well. Oh, he's so handsome. I like that you can see the, the long fur and the gray, of course, because I always love gray. Oh, I thought I knew which one I wanted and now I'm not sure. Here's another Shire that's slightly different than Dragon Rain. His coat, I think, I think his coat's a little nicer, but he's very similar to Dragon Rain. So I'm not sure that I want to get that one just yet. Here's another Sport Frisian that I'm a huge fan of. I really want to get all three of these Sport Frisians. And then the other one I wanted to buy today that's at the horse market is one of the older Sport Frisians, the gray one. But I have to wait. Ugh. And some more cuties here on the end. Look at this guy. 
Oh, I really thought I knew which Icelandic I wanted, and now I'm not sure. So let's get the easy ones first. Okay, we are going to start with this Lippitz Honor. Who is 949 star coins. The Lippitz Honor is an elegant horse with a natural ability to perform extremely difficult riding maneuvers. It is popular with certain schools and for dressage. The famous Spanish riding school in Vienna uses nothing but Lippitz Honor horses. He's very excited that we're taking him home. Money Boy. South Prince. Grass Chance. That's an interesting name. Noble Clash. Clash Dash. <laughs> I am going to go with a Red Walker for the name of this horse, but we are going to affectionately call him Red. There aren't too many horses that I have uh, shortened or nicknames for, and I really feel like this guy is a Red. It's very fitting. The second horse we are going to get today, and I'm very torn because I really want the silver Sport Frisian, but I think I'm going to go with this one. There's a little bit of a theme with the horses I'm getting today with the dark red-brown coloring and the lighter hair. That blonde hair is beautiful. <laughs> I wonder if we should make this one a girl. I don't have any strong feelings about it either way. Normally I tend to side with that uh, my horses are boys. I don't know, they just feel like boys. I do have a few girls in my stable. This one I'm not so sure about, so maybe we'll browse the names and see what comes to us. So the Frisian Sport Horse is 890 star coins. This is one of the newer versions. For a long time, the Frisian Horse has been crossbred with other breeds, English and Arabian horses in particular. Over time, a unique breed developed, the Frisian Sport Horse. They have the long, wavy mane and tail of a Frisian and a calm and easy temperament. They come in many different colors and are often very athletic with increased endurance. This guy has zero endurance. <laughs> I'm very tempted to stick with the theme here with our previous horse being red, this horse being Ruby. I kind of want to call her Ruby Way, but Ruby for short. So red and Ruby, and I think it is going to be a girl, so that's pretty exciting. I'm already very, very happy with the decisions today. I'm normally very scared when it comes to purchasing multiple horses because I feel like I'm not going to have a connection with them. I need time to, to love them and ride with them and get to know them. but. Everything seems to be falling into place today, so I'm pretty excited about that. Oh, I am so super torn on what to do about the Icelandics. Maybe I'll hop down for my horse and get a closer look at them. I really love this guy, especially because he looks like Rock Beam. He's got these bright blue eyes. But you don't see as much of the definition of the fur. As on so <laughs> Let's just climb right inside. As on some of the other ones and we have just the black which is okay but hmm the white is very pretty too Whew. I think this is my second favorite I really like this one the more I look at it now this one I actually have on Nova and I have a Mustang that looks like this I'm a fan of this one as well. As you know, I'm very partial to gray horses, so. Oh, they're just so dark, gosh darn cute. And the one that's way over here on the end, all by itself. Next to a quarter horse, of course, but. That's pretty fun, too. I don't think I have any horses that look like this one. Guys, the more I'm here and, and looking at them, the more I'm leaning towards this one in here. Which surprises me because I really like the one that looks like Rock Beam too. But I think we should start with this one. He's very handsome. <gasps> Let's do it. And it kind of sticks with the red theme because he's still got a little red in him too. Icelandic horse. It was in the late 1300s that the Icelandic horse was first brought to Jorvik by one of Iceland's great horse breeders, Jokul Tomasson. Maybe? Along with his daughter, Brynhildr, Jokul had spent many years in the Ottoman Empire working for the wealthy trader Asil Berdal. When Ottoman Empire Murad I died in the summer of 1389, 
Yoku and Brunhilde decided to leave. Since the 10th century, it has been forbidden to return Icelandic horses to Iceland once they've already left, so Yoku and Brunhilde would have had to leave their beloved horses behind if they were to be able to return to their homeland. This could never be an option for them, so they decided to take their horses to Jorvik one snowy wintry day at the end of 1389. The Icelandic horse quickly became very popular amongst the inhabitants, and today are used for both leisure riding as well as competitive racing. For all the wonderful qualities that make the Icelandic horse unique, the most famous has to be its special gait. In addition to the usual walking styles, the Icelandic horse also has a unique gait called the tolt. To be able to tolt, hold down shift at the same time as increasing your speed from a walking pace. Excellent, and there's 969 star coins, and we are going to need some practice with that tolt. <laughs> I am leaning towards Summer Chaser, because he definitely looks like a summer. Summer's coming to an end, so maybe I'm just feeling a little nostalgic for that. But Summer Chaser, I think, sounds pretty, and we can call him Summer for short. So we got a special note here to remind us about the tolt, Icelandic horse. Icelandic horses have a unique way of walking called tolt. This special gait will not allow them to jump or break into a gallop. To be able to tolt, hold down shift at the same time as increasing your speed from a walking pace. The unique tolt only works with Icelandic horses. Noted. Excellent. Here they are, all lined up, ready to go. We have Summer Chaser here on the end, Red Walker in the middle, and Ruby Way on the left end. Stunning! I'm very happy with my decisions today, but you guys let me know in the comments below which horse I bought today that is your favorite, or if you don't like any of them, tell me that too. Which horse do you think I should buy next? We're going to take them out one at a time and see how they do. I grabbed the new Iberian style tack set from the mall so I can put it on each of the horses and see how they do. We're going to talk to Pauline and do the manners riding track. Hello. Ruby Way has a very big jump. I like that. She does look very nice when running. Oh, I think all of the horses always do. I get so wrapped up in watching them run that I mess up the race sometimes. <laughs> Excellent job, Ruby Way. Congrats on level two. Red looks super cool in this tack set, I think. He looks like a very powerful horse. The last horse looked super agile. He just kind of looks like a powerhouse. Jump, also a very nice jump on him. I feel like he has a lot more weight that he needs to get up and over those jumps <laughs> than the sport Parisian. Now, of course, he's a Lippet's Honor, so we need to see him do his levade. Beautiful. The last horse we have to take out today is Summer Chaser, who gets to do his very special Tolt! Oh, he's so handsome! Look at him go! That's really cool, and a little bit easier than I thought it would be to do. So basically you go down to a walk, hold shift, and press up. Huh. This little guy doesn't seem like he's going quite as fast as the other two. But he's doing a great job. I really like uh, turning with him. It feels like he can fit into those tiny places that the bigger horses cannot. Excellent! Summer Chaser did fantastic! We were only about one second behind our personal best for that race. Um, he's actually really fun to race with. And now he's level 2! Thanks for joining me today, you guys. If you'd like to see some more horse buying videos, give a thumbs up on this one so I know that you're interested and let me know what you've been up to in the game. I'll talk to you next time. Bye!